Okay, today we're going to configure router RIP version 2 with uh, authentication on a serial port. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Let's use our terminal relation putty, or if you have secure term, use either or. And we're going to select COM1, click open. We're going to move the dialog box so we can fully view it. There we go. We're going to get into it. Go to enable mode. Uh, we're going to go to configuration mode. Then we're going to get into it. I'm going to say host name. Give me the router name, my router. All right. The only reason you can configure uh, authentication on uh, router RIP is in version 2. That's the only place you can configure it. And it uh, has to be on the serial interface. Or you can configure it on the serial interface. And um, RIP version 1, you cannot. And the other difference between RIP version version 1 and 2 is variable sublet mask. Uh, you can actually. Uh, go to a uh, subnetted uh, network instead of a classical boundary of the network. So with that, let's go ahead and continue on. Say router rip. And I'm say version 2. Going to put in a couple of network statements. Let's say network 192.168.0 and it's always good to know these beforehand. I'm just going to put in a couple. I'm just using the tab key to get back up there. Uh, you don't have to use them all, but I always configure a couple anyway. You never know what, it might, what you might need. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to configure the key. So I'm going to go uh, exit. And I'm going to say keychain. I'm going to give it a name. This is the name of the actual keychain. I'm going to say K L M M A. I'm going to say key one. You can do these two keys if you want uh, to give it more authentication. And then you're going to act. This is this is the part that actually has to be configured the same on both sides. I'm going to say key string. And I'm going to say uh, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, then I'm gonna say B, and you gotta make sure that you have this the same on both sides. All right, and we're gonna do one more key just, just to show you you can do two keys. And I gotta change the key string, so with that, I'm gonna do a different key string. I'm gonna say. Two different key strings, and I might just add a little bit more to it just to make it a little longer. Okay, now that is done. Okay, once that is done, you got to go in interface mode. So I'm going to type exit to get out of this, and then I'm going to go into the particular interface 0 0 slash 0 slash 0. Give it an IP address. I'm going to use a second so for that one. So 192.168. At two dot one submit mass. Oops, a little fat finger there. And two forty. Whoops. Got to put an address. You always got to put that in. <laughs> I always hit tab, and I might not always wait for it. So let's get address in there. Okay. Now the address is in. Uh, now we say IP RIP RIP authentication. There it is. Authentication. Tell it which key chain. Uh, key chain. And then you tell it the name that you actually gave it. Okay. Uh, and, and, and. All right. You can type end. Wait for the console to finish. If you want to type right mem, I'm not going to because I'm going to reconfigure. I'm going to show run to see what you can figure. You always want to do that at the end. Uh, you can see the keychain right there, the stuff we typed in, the name, and the two different key strings that we gave it. You want to make sure this is this part, the key strings are configured the same on both sides. Uh, the keychain the keychain name doesn't have to be the same, which is the first part. 
So now we're going to scroll down to our interface, and we see in our interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 that it has been configured and it shut down. So if you want to work, you got to go back and you got to type no shut to bring the port up and then you configure the other side. But I normally leave everything down until I'm through configuring everything, and then that's how I normally do it. And then I always go through and verify my configurations on both sides before I actually bring the whole thing up. And that's all I have for today. I hope this video was helpful and tune in again and thanks as always.